Hey guys, we had the opportunity to shoot some body armor at the range and actually test the ballistic ratings on several different levels of armor firsthand. And this is what happened. So before we show you the footage, let's talk about what kind of armor we actually had out there. We had three different levels and two different types of armor, soft and composite. So the soft armor panel was this one here. It's a Premier uh, Body Armor 3A panel. 3A is rated for handgun rounds up to 357 Magnum uh, and 44 Magnum. We also had a 3A composite plate by Defender Armor here, as well as Guardian Gear and Defender Composite Plates Level 3 and Level 4. Level 3 rated up to 7.62 uh, FMJ ammo and Level 4 rated for armor piercing 30 caliber ammo. Correct. So first, we shot the soft 3A panel with a 9mm, 40 cal, and 45 ACP. Here's what happened. All right, Remington 115 grain, out of a Glock 19. All right, no spalling, and nope, didn't go through. No penetration. No penetration. 180 grain, 40 cal, out of a Rock Island Armory HC Ultra. No penetration. Penetration. Sold and tight. Good deal. No spalling either. No spalling. Arms core, 230 grain, 35 ACP out of the Taurus 1911. Did not penetrate. We're captured right here. You got him? Yep. No spalling. All right. Good. And just because that wasn't enough, we had to try the Pilgrim Torch round on it as well. Jason, I've got one right here. Tell us about that round. <laughs> We've got to always push the limits, don't we? So what we're looking at here is a 9mm, 50 grain, 2,000 feet per second round with a 450 pounds of kinetic energy. It's crazy insane. So here's what happened when I shot it out of my Glock 19. Clear. I'm very curious. It did not penetrate. It brother. did not penetrate. It just put it. Uh, there was enough pressure, maybe one little fragment, but there's there was no projectile. Um, I'm very impressed. So I had actually done some testing with this round out of my PCC, I and I found I could get up to 300 feet per second more in velocity out of a 14 and a half inch uh, barrel. It had a one and a half inch pin and welded comp on it. I got 2,500 feet per second. I shot this Premier body. It's a 3A. Now, I shot it with this. Do you think it went through? Check this out. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to the upper left-hand quadrant. What do you think before we look? I think it's going to I penetrate? think that couple of hundred. I think, I think it might have gone through. I All don't right, know. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yes, yep, it did. There we go. The torch round defeated the 3A body armor. There's the impact. Mm -hmm. Now, this was traveling between 24 and 25 100 feet per second, which is significantly faster than it would be unless, if it were have a pistol. I have a pistol traveling about 2,000, 2,100 feet per second. Which so when you add that extra drone. velocity, uh, then it can defeat it. So, so there's a lot to be said about this soft body armor. It did what it was supposed to do, right? Yep. But when we really pushed the limits uh, and added that extra velocity, we actually defeated that 3A body armor. So next, we shot the Defender 3A plate and nine, 40 cal, and 45 ACP as well. Although there was significant deformation, there was no through and through penetration with those rounds. 115 grain ball, nine millimeter out of a Glock 19. So, a little deformation in here, but no penetration whatsoever. 180 grain full metal jacket out of my Rock Island Ultra HC. Range is cold. Also, by the way, we have balloons here to see if we have any spall, and we obviously didn't have any spall. So there's my impact. And again, no over penetration that retained the bullet. Nice. So good to go with, with the 40, 180 grain. Let's try some 45. Let's try some 45. 45 ACP out of a 1911.
and I can just go. Come on, Jace, that made a big old hole that on the front end. Big old hole. That old 45. Let's see what the 45 did. Oh, again. No penetration. No baby. penetration. So the Defender 3A did its job. Awesome. Nice. So moving on, we prepped our level three composite plate and shot it with a 55 grain 223 and a 762 by 39, and it lived up to its rating. All right, so we got the level three plate up now, 55 grain 556. Let's see what happens. Clear. All right, let's check her out, Danny. Hey. No penetration. There you go. A little deformation there. Level 3 composite, 762 by 39 Zastava AK. Range is cold. And it stopped at 762 by 39. Still there. So we got my Christian Arms 308 uh, Mesa long range rifle and 168 grain um, hollow points. Composite level three. There she is. Oh my, my goodness. You know what's interesting about this, Jace, is that we already had deformation from a pre from that AK shot, and it still did not penetrate. Did not penetrate with that 308. So that was a 308, that was a 168 grain hollow point bowtail bullet out of my 308. And uh, just so everybody at home knows, the more this thing gets shot, the weaker it actually becomes. Yeah, they're really not designed to no. be shot multiple times. So the mere fact that this is still doing its job after multiple shots is Impressive. a pretty good Impressive. sign. Yep. Yeah. So obviously when we turn this plate around and look, we want to make sure that nothing has actually penetrated and come through and it hasn't, but we do have this, I call it traumatic deformation. And when you, when this body armor becomes deformed like this, uh, it no longer remains as strong as it was in the beginning, right? So they're really not tested for multiple shots. So we have this traumatic deformation. Um, it did its job. So Jason, finally, we strapped our level four plate to Mario and we shot it with my 308 and threw a Magnum 12 gauge slug at it as well. Again, there's significant cavitation, but no complete penetration. What we did notice, however, was some spalling. All right, level four plate, M855A1s. They're supposed to be a little bit spicier than green tips, so we'll see how it does. And proof's in the pudding. How about that? No penetration. And barely any deformation there. That's that's really impressive to me as well. Yeah. Still, keep in mind, we did have some kind of spall Correct. to burst those balloons. I'm really glad we put these balloons there. Me too. Mario's seen his better days, hasn't he? Yeah. And like we were discussing earlier when off camera, even though that could be the ceramic, those ceramic do come out in little shards. And those yeah. things can cut you. So there's actually, there's copper jacketing right there. Yep. So, uh, you know, just keep in mind, you can still get spall from a ceramic plate, Correct. but it did defeat the latest, greatest uh, 5.56 five, penetrator round. So that's cool. And just to let everybody know too, normally these things are gonna be carried inside of a plate carrier. And those, that plate carrier is gonna stop a lot of that spall as good well. Good point, very good so point. So it's gonna keep a lot of that from coming out onto your person. Yeah, I know it's hot out here, but I got some slugs, some 12 gauge slugs. Wanna want try it? Let's do it and see how it holds. I'm thinking it's gonna defeat the slug, Jason. I'm really curious to see what kind of back face deformation we get from the 12 gauge slug. And I've got some spicy slugs too. I've got some magnum slugs. Awesome. So uh, it's not it's not your everyday grandma slug. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mario. He he's can earned, take it. He he's earned his paycheck today. <laughs> All right, we got a federal 12 gauge magnum slug. Want to see what kind of deformation we can get out of this thing? See how she goes. Seems like a lot of deformation. Um, I think I deformed him a lot. Check him out. Poor Mario. Jason. Yes. Did not penetrate. You are kidding me. Did not. We got massive deformation on the backside. I, th I believe that's your entrance hole there. And 
Yep. That is truly impressive. Now, that's that's going to tickle a lot right there. Oh, it's not going to feel it's good. It's not going to feel good. But it might save your life. So listen, if Mario took that hit, he's going to be hurt. He might even have a cracked uh, sternum here. Absolutely. Right? It's, it's definitely possible. So here, here's the deal. Uh, they're, they're designed to save your life. It doesn't mean you're not necessarily going to be injured. Uh, you, might you probably not still are be going to be fight. injured, but might not still, still, be be, still be in the fight. Well, Mario, he's one tough dude. I was really interested in the results of this particular plate myself because this is what I actually run um, personally in my plate carriers. So we did see some spalling, yes, but we're guessing it was pieces of ceramic from the core armor created from you know some spalling off that. But that might be mitigated by a plate carrier, which would have provided any kind of extra spalling there. You bet. So in any event, these plates lived up to the respective ratings. We definitely had a great time shooting them, but uh, I can't say the same thing for uh, Mario back yeah, there. I think I punched Mario in the face that day. I think that's why he's staring at me so evil in the back. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. We had a great time. Uh, do your research when you're out there shopping for your armor. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and help set a positive 2A algorithm. Stay safe.